warm him up. Multiple temporal warp shakers and shoes inbound. Since these war gods aren't in this era, destroying them won't disrupt the timeline. Okay. Aldano must fulfill his personal destiny. I've given him my time ship to do so. Please clear it for launch. Okay. Trust me on this. I can always get another ship. Okay then. Oh, one second. I'm putting out, putting my phone on Do Not Disturb. Get a whole bunch of stuff, and I, in my opinion, um. Anyway, all right. Shell Bay One. The time ship is cleared for immediate launch. Four four guns. We need to cover Cal's escape. What do you think I'm doing? setback. Your interference will not keep us from Cal Dano or the Dox Uthat. History can be changed, as you will see. Stand down, Commander. It's over. Okay, we're gonna have to chase him. The Arborel just engaged a temporal drive. They're gone. The Forgons know a lot about the Taksu Tot and its history. They'll want to reach a pivotal point in its timeline. There! I have them. Reading a new temporal ripple. In the year 2152. Unfortunately, I can't ask Captain Archer to get involved in this one, so if you don't mind. Temporal course laid in. Ready when you are. Alright, let's go. Engage! I'll pick up several ships on, on long range course, a Takir type Vulcan cruiser and the Enterprise. Both appear to be disabled. I'm also reading Tholian and Suliban signatures. Look like there's the, a fight going on. And the Vorgons? Scanning the Vorga, Vorgon signatures detected? Detected. It's the Arboral. They're lo running long range scans as well. No doubt looking for their prize. Interesting. It looks like they're dispersing temporal particles to mask their signature to the ships of this era. I think we could do something similar. See, keep keep us off their sensors if you can. Time ship, or, or what's left of it, is currently on Enterprise, along with the body of Caldano. What happened to Cal then? He wound up here after a temporal incident that ended his long life and career. The Vorgons don't know this, however. We can't let them endanger Enterprise or her crew. Also, we should stay out of Enterprise's sensor range. They haven't detected us yet, but let's not tempt fate. Agreed. History shows you have a habit of meddling in the affairs of others. We believe it is time to break you of that habit. You're about to be disappointed, disappointed, Commander. Well, what the hell? <sighs> what 
the hell just happened? Okay, we lost connection there for a bit. Enough where I did not notice. Sorry about this, folks. Okay, Admiral, we've disabled the Arboral, but they're repairing their systems quickly, bringing multiple incoming temporal signatures, fork on reinforcements. Weapons, weapons ready. And here comes some Tholians for us. Unidentified vessels. You are temporal anomalies. You do not belong. Your chronicon signature matches a vessel we seek. We won't know why. Submit to investigation or you will be purged. Wait, hold on. Let me explain. Tholian Captain. We are not aligned with these interlopers. In fact, we would be happy to ally with you against them. The Lion's proposal refused. You are anomalous. They are anomalous. You will all be purged. Uh, red alert shields up. Vulcan rescue team on its way to aid the Dakir. We should leave before they arrive and ask questions we're not prepared to answer. Agreed. Can you lock up to the Arboral? Scanning for the Vorgons now. Ah, of course. They're heading to the Rysis system in 2366. The Toxu Tot was buried there. And it's about to be discovered by Jean-Luc Picard. That's where it was destroyed as well, if memory serves. That's the official record, yes. Truth is, Captain Picard realized the scientific value of the Toxu Tot and faked its destruction to fool the Vorgons. It worked. Until now. I'm reading a new disturbance. Soul System 2375. They know where it is. Course locked in. Are you ready for transit? Make it so! Okay, something's going on here on my stream manager. Give me a minute. Okay, I'm picking up multiple hostiles. Green, green battle fleet, circa thir 2375. Admiral, we're at the we're at the, at the breed attack on Earth during the Dominion War. Why Earth, Daniels? And why now? The Toxutot is here, in a high-security vault under Starfleet command. I assume the Vorgons are taking advantage of the chaos and the heavy damage to infiltrate the security facility and steal the Toxutot. A pity Captain Picard's ruse didn't last. It held up for quite some time. I suspect our Vorgon friends are getting some help. History shows them giving up the hunt after their failure at Risa. Regardless, they're here now and we've got work to do. Green vessels on intercept course are locking weapons. Black 
attack ship is inbound. We take it out and we'll have a clear path to Earth. Need to check something because because of what just happened. I think I'm gonna close close my web browser out. Maybe that might help. See what else I can do. I have no clue what's going on, honestly. But okay, let's take advantage of this lone battle to beam down while we still can. Are you ready to beam down? Yeah, let's go. Starfleet Headquarters Research Lab 7. We arrived at Starfleet Headquarters, blah blah blah. Based on tricorder readings, our brain scattered throughout the facility. We'll need to make our way through uh, to the high security areas and narrow down our search there. Understood. Weapons ready. Move out. In orbit, the Federation fleet has engaged the Breen Invasion Force. Reports from San Francisco estimate casualties in the tens of thousands. Starfleet Command is under heavy fire at this time. Close terminal. Advance. Uh, I think these are supposed to be ki um, killed. At least some of them, anyway. You should probably ask that researcher what he knows. Oh. Thank God you're not free. This is a nightmare. I think they're heading to the vault. What's left of my research team grabbed phasers from a security station and decided to hold the line. Against Breen soldiers. Complete, utter insanity. Please, help them. Get to safety. We'll help them if we can. Thanks for the assist. Anything I can help you with? Okay, let's check the news report. The Federation fleet is advancing on the Breen positions, but casualties are high on both sides. Breen shock troops are beaming to locations on Earth where ground combat is the heaviest. Lastly, we have unofficial reports that Starfleet Academy is preparing to be overrun. Okay, let's talk to you. Thanks for the help. The Breen thought Starfleet scientists couldn't fight. As you can see, they were greatly mistaken. Well, that they were. Have you seen any Vorgons down here? Funny you should mention that. We have. One of my team picked up two Vorgon life signs in the vault on local sensors, just before the Breen came to call. I notified security for all the good that did. Let me buzz you in. Main access is over here. Lead the way. Doors been damaged and be beyond quick repair. <coughs> Damn, this thing's a total loss. I can open up secondary access for you, but you should know the bringing made it in there. Could be rough going. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of it. down thinking one too many times
wrong. And there, override. This way. I've brought you this far, and you still won't join me? No, Envoy. Your war with the Federation doesn't concern us. Only the Tots who thought matters. Nothing else. We are not alone in that pursuit, as you can see. These must be the meddlers that you spoke of, Varotis. Kill them quickly. This is a good... Having trouble, are we? You see now the depths our foes will go to, Baratus. Join me, and you'll have your revenge. I swear it. Very well. I will follow your lead, Envoy. For vengeance! Oh, great. Vengeance, indeed. Oh! Daniels? One second, Daniels. Ow, I'll be fine. We need to focus. Find the Taksu Tot. Unacceptable. You've been injured somehow and want to know why. I'm afraid that's need to know information. And right now, you don't need to know. I'm sorry, but there are things bigger than this to worry about. Have your way, Daniels, for now. Okay, use terminals, search. Artifacts match the Toxic Tots rarity. Let's download those and let's check the news. Reports of a major strike led by the USS Cairo and the USS Enterprise are coming in. The Breen battle line appears to be breaking down, though heavy ground combat continues at several locations. Okay. Okay, let's check this one. The Lair of Dr. Chaotica. Okay. The Holodeck memory module unit contained a Holocaptor Proton simulation with the Hall character of Dr. Chaotica and she's sentience. Inspired by the data of the Excalibans, Chaotica Legions of Tyler's Victory, blah blah blah. Memory. Tried to escape the Hall Suite. And without success, and the memory module was remanded to Section 31 shortly thereafter. It's not it. Another one. I'm not taking it right this second. 
as we already know. I want to see what the other artifacts are that we have here. Console? Designation? It's green. <laughs> An amazingly potent liquor of unknown origin, identifiable only by its bright, verdant coloration. It's often confused for Aldebar Aldebaranian whiskey. This alien uh, libation is reportedly strong enough to render a Kelvin intoxicated, recovered from the wreckage of the USS Enterprise D. What's this artifact? Orc Queen Remains. Classified from Enterprise E, believed to be an nerd through preservation in the highest, usually, though preservation in the highest security field is in effect by order of Section 31. And let's get back for the Toxutat. Toxotot. Let's take it. Admiral, looks like the Breen, Breen are withdrawing from Earth. We can beam you back to the ship whenever you're ready. Beam us up and prepare the ship for tra temporal transit. Daniels, that's a little bit too close for me. Okay, let's hail Daniels. As I said before, that information is need to know only. You knowing it could have an impact on future events. I apologize. But for now, it's my secret to bear. What's important is stopping the envoy and his allies. We might not be so lucky next time. Mm hmm. Take the dielectric personal shield. We have discovered that the Sphere Builders have been conducting operations in other universes. They aren't just looking to make changes in time, but in other dimensions as well. Their experiments in the parallel universe have produced results that will aid them in forming expanses here. We need to travel to that reality and stop the Sphere Builder research while we still can. All right. And I'll be getting that Kelvin timeline bat lift. To the alternate Delphic expanse. First, we transwarp there since that's our crossing point. And where are we on the map? Delphic region. Yeah, I've, by the way, I have no clue what happened there or that caused us to be cut off for for enough time where didn't notice that that whole thing there. So sorry about that, folks. Okay, we arrived in alter qu alternative quantum universe, Admiral. Stellar cartography reports our location in the, as the Delphic re region. By, by, by my computations, it's the year 2260. I'm picking up some ships on long range sensors, hull layout, and warp signatures suggest they're of Klingon design. Keep an eye, keep an eye on them. 
Okay, Daniels. In 2387, an incident created a quantum rift between our universe and this one. A Romulan ship accidentally traveled here through a singularity. They found themselves in 2233 and later destroyed the USS Kelvin in battle. This caused their timeline to differ from ours. As a result, we now refer to it as the Kelvin timeline. We believe the Sphere Builders communicate with their operatives through the Rift. Operatives such as the Klingons? Yes. In our timeline, they used the Zindi as a proxy force. I suspect they're doing the same thing here with the Klingon. A for formidable choice, though it's pretty hard to see Klingons as anyone's proxy. I'm reading multiple spheres under construction in this sector, as well as the wreckage of spheres. I suspect the local forces are trying to prevent an expanse from being formed. Good, we may have some allies then. This sphere isn't active yet. We need to neutralize it before the builders can Starfleet create an expanse. This is the USS Yorktown. We are under attack and request. Okay. I do hope you've come to fight, Patok. If not, you may whimper and wait for my blade at your throat. Battle stations, defend the Yorktown. Affirmative Yorktown, we're on our way. Pick up weapons fire, blah blah blah. Let's energize now, answer questions later. For them. Emerald, the rest of the team is working to secure the engineering. Yorktown's warp core is approaching critical status. Understood, Daniels, and I will secure the bridge. Over here. I am Science Hello. Officer 0718. Thank you for your very timely assistance. Could you see to Admiral Garrett's medical needs? I am currently interfacing with your crew and the Yorktown's engineering systems to prevent a critical breach of the warp core. We'll see to the Admiral. Rizzi, we'll see to the Admiral. Keep me apprised on the warp core status. What are you doing here? Last I heard, you were putting fear into the hearts of first-year cadets of the Academy. N never mind for now. Give us a hand here. The Klingons really did a number on us. We'll do what we can, Admiral. Thank you. I thought we were finished. The Klingons weren't interested in taking prisoners. Rails are stabilized, you'll be alright. Thanks. I hope you're here to deal with these spheres. Rest easy, we're here to help.
thank you. Oh, my head's still spinning. That last Klingon photon hit sent me flying into the ops console. Head first. You take it easy for a moment. The dizziness should pass soon. We could use some help putting out these fires. Okay, there. Come over here after you put out the last fire. Over here! All right. We were about to begin sabotage operations on the Sphere when the Klingons came to call. As you can see, Yorktown and her crew are in rough shape. But that thing needs to be neutralized. And I count on you and your crew to help us finish the job? Of course. Glad to hear it. We've got explosives ready to go. But we'll need to find a proper infiltration point on the Sphere. Work with my science officer to make that happen. Understood, Admiral. Use the starboard console. Together we can triangulate our scanners. There we go. Admiral Garrett, I believe we found a suitable location. I have reviewed your proposed infiltration coordinates. They are tactically sound. We can commence operations at your command. Be advised. In previous encounters on board spheres, the occupants have been quick to mobilize their defense forces. Expect heavy opposition. Understood. Let's move out. I'll stay on the Yorktown to assist Admiral Garrett and his crew. We'll monitor your progress from the bridge and provide tactical updates as we can. Okay, give, us, give me a minute. Oop. Ah, replicator. Need a drink. One slush o mix. Thanks. Nice. Can we find dilithium? Find the dilithium now. Okay. Blah blah blah. Let me just check the status on. Salvage all this junk I really don't need. Get rid of the rest via replicator. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down there. There we go. And I'll just leave you in the inventory for now. All right. I'll stay Let's on the go. Yorktown. We're picking up multiple Klingon life signs near your location. Acknowledged. Wiles out. Better do this, just in case. Commander! Kill those intruders! I must say, I don't like the design to of date, it. The most effective Starfleet tactic has been to trigger a critical series of detonations within their power suite. Such disruptions have resulted in destruction of a sphere. No doubt the Klingons will have something to say about that. Let's access the files while we're here. Experiment 2674. Despite attempts to compensate for transdimensional drift, the protocol initiation led to universal instability and ultimately, entropic acceleration. Galactic habitable spaces, zero. Life signs, minimal. Project terminated. Receiving data. I had no idea the sphere builders were involved in so many ultimate realities. On here. You cannot stop our plan. Okay, let's set a charge. 
I was part of the team that devised the sphere neutralization tactics aboard USS Enterprise. After our initial success, I was deployed to the Yorktown to share my expertise on such matters. Your experience should be invaluable, 0718. Experiment 3331. The expanse grew at an acceptable rate until it was discovered by the Iconian Dominion Alliance. After intense resistance, we were able to decimate their core systems with targeted micro expenses. But their desperation assault in subspace led to a complete entropic breakdown and, ultimately, universal disruption. Galactic habitable spaces? Zero. Life signs? Indeterminate. Project terminated. This data. They've exterminated entire galaxies with their experiments. Okay, which way? Oh, there. It seems your alliance with the Klingons has been profitable, Builders. It has. Like the Zindi, they are eager for conquest. However, the technology you have provided destroys as well as creates. The Resistance has been disruptive to our progress. Your promises appear thin, Envoy. I assure you, all is going according to plan. Nothing they will do will keep us from our goals. And yet, I see a familiar disruption has presented itself again. A minor nuisance. I suggest letting your Klingon do what they do best. I will deal with this disruption. It's time you learned that you cannot prevail, intruder. You will fall to ruin. To confront you. You! I have had enough of you! Is there a chance we could discuss this like rational beings? The Tutarians were a peaceful race, until your misbegotten alliance committed an act of genocide! We were all but annihilated! Only a scant few of us escaped to safety, lost and forgotten within a dimensional void. The Envoy has given us the means to manipulate events. We had begun to undo the damage you have done to us. Quantum realms such as this are ours to study without risk to our own. And should this realm unravel, there is an infinite number of realms remaining to us. You speak of suffering genocide, but you are willing to commit it yourself? Yes, just as you were willing to do so to achieve your goals. Do not presume to judge me, murderer! The Expanse Protocol will wipe you from existence, and with your passing, bring justice to my people at long last. Something is happening. The Sphere is emitting a high level of thermobaric radiation. We must complete our objective at once. Okay. working on the sphere network. Prepare the final charge for detonation. Okay. Final charge deployed. We can return and initiate the detonation chain on your command. Let's make that happen before the expanse is complete. Experiment 4472. 
projections indicate increased habitable living area and expands growth rate. Early estimates suggest a 500% increase. Local resistance, primarily from this realm's version of the Federation, has been crude but effective. Deploying Klingon proxy forces at key sphere deployments should alleviate this concern. The latest data is local. It corresponds to this universe's quantum signature. Okay, we're we've been back to the ship. Energize! The expanse is affecting our shields and hull weak. It was standing for a little while before the cruiser comes with negative health effects. It'd be likely worse on the Yorktown. Understood? Spear builder ships, inbound! Hold on. I missed it. Oh well. Time here. Recalibration complete. Let's establish the final link. I have established a link to the charges on the screen. Ready to activate your command. Detonate the charges. go. Okay, at the Yorktown and Commons, they're ready for you and 0718 to be moving for a debrief. Acknowledge, we're on our way. Nice work over there. It was rough for a moment, but you both... Oh! <laughs> what the... I... I'll see you back on the ship, sir. Most curious. I believe that wound occurred due to a temporal shift. Something has happened... elsewhere. It ha it's happened before. We're not sure why. A question for another time, perhaps. In the end, you came through for us. On behalf of Starfleet and the Yorktown crew, thanks. Indeed. Safe travels to you and your crew. Thank you. Good luck, gentlemen. On to beam up. The Envoy's been busy since our last meeting. I think we can add the Sphere Builders to our list of known TLF associates and members after this encounter. The Builders are no strangers to temporal war. Their experience could tip the balance of power against us. Fortunately, their ability to operate in our dimension is extremely limited. For now. Let's take that Kelvin time like Batleth. Some time ago, there was a temporal disruption involving the USS Enterprise C. We thought the matter was fully resolved, but there was an oversight. We need to find one of the Enterprise C survivors, a temporal duplicate of Starfleet Admiral Tanay. Until we reconcile her displacement, the timeline is in jeopardy. There's one person in particular that can provide the location of the survivors, Sela of Romulus. We believe she's operating in the Cytor system. Oh. Meet me there to search for Sela and enlist her aid. Oh great, we have to deal with Sela. Stay safe out there. To the Sator system. Okay, let's begin this. 
And Daniel seems a lot better. I think something else, I think something has happened at a different part, part of time to fix him, or it's a different version of him. Okay, now entering the sea tour system, no sign of any ships on sensors, Romulan or otherwise. Admiral Transfer Reporter Room 1 reports Agent Daniels has just beamed in. Welcome aboard, Agent. What's your take on all this? If she's here, we'll need to draw her out. Seal is not easily found if she doesn't want to be. In the meantime, there's a structure on one of the larger asteroids, but the mineral content there is making long-range scanning difficult. I recommend we take a closer look. What sort of structure? Looks like a small base of some kind. Industrial. Possibly military. Whatever it is, it's running at low power. We'll get a better idea at close range. Understood. Let's t uh, take us in closer, Helm. Our intel shows a lot of Romulan activity in the system. In Sila's name. Command believes she's planning Hi, an Yosa, how you doing? Kind and gathering tactical Ooh. resources. Okay, give me one second. How are you doing, Yoza? This looks like an abandoned Tal Shiar base. Or what's left of one. It looks like the interior has been stripped of anything useful over an extended period of time. This could be the work of Sela's forces. They've been... Wait! Picking up enemy contacts. Romulan ships decloaking. Shields up, red alert. What the? Where are you gonna go? Those ships were old and battle ready. It's unusual of them to run so quickly. We should stay sharp. There's probably more of them out there waiting under cloak. In the meantime, we damage their propulsion systems in the fight. They're leaking plasma. Helm, follow that plasma trail now! As long as they keep leaking plasma, we can follow their trail. Oh. They're not trying to lose us. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, I agree. I hope everything was alright, Yozo. Oh, plasma's up there. Unidentified. You are trespassing in sovereign Romulan space, and you are outnumbered. Surrender now. Nice to see you, too. <laughs> oh, it's you again. We're not here to fight, Sela. Stand down. No. You are still trespassing in my space, and I could use a new ship for my armada. Oh, great. Red alert. Tactical fire to disable only. And just have some fun. Okay. Just so you know, you missed... It says you just came in. You know, Miss Temporal Ambassador, or the matter of Vorgon Conclusion's terminal expanse Fine. throughout the... we'll talk. Cut to the chase and tell me what it is you want. Hold on a second. <laughs> yeah, and Terminal Expanse. Basically, with the Terminal Expanse, we went to the Kelvin timeline. But, basically, in a nutshell, had to get the get the Enterprise C back to its own timeline again from the Azure, Azure Nebula. 
core of the matter, which basically had to destroy a doomsday, stop a doomsday machine from being controlled by Romulans and Nakul. Vorgon conclusions, we got time-traveling Vorgons, the two from from the that one episode in in Next Generation, and in order to stop them from getting the Toxutat. And of course I mentioned Terminal Expanse, right now we're on Survivor. Okay, Sila. Information specifically on the location of certain Talshar prisoners. Oh. oh! I wondered when you'd get around to looking for the Enterprise C survivors. Hold on a second, Sila. As I said before, and I'll say it again no advertising. I hate that shit. And yeet into the Shadow Realm. Goodbye. Anyway, Sela, sorry about that. Uh, where are they? Those survivors? When the Enterprise C survivors were taken, my father agreed to let the rest of the crew live, so long as Lieutenant Yar served as his concubine. She was executed, but my father held to his word. I am aware of their location. But I will only take you there if you agree to bring me with you. If you come with us, you agree to be arrested. No tricks. And what assurances do I have that I won't simply be executed? I will not agree to my death. We will make arrangements for incarceration, not execution. If I agree to this, I will be held in house arrest, somewhere reasonably pleasant by my own standards. I will not be cut off from access to the outside world, and I will not be given any sort of death penalty. Further, you will allow my crew and their ships to go without harassment. I'm sure such arrangements can be made. Prepare to beam aboard. The survivors of the Enterprise-C were sent to a Tal Shiar prison world. Set a course for the Pictay system. I shall make my way to the bridge of this faint little ship. Oh, I like that very well. Undeath penalty it is. Call the Borg. <laughs> All right, very well. Helm, plot a course. Course lead in for the Picante system manual. Okay, let's go. More bound. Oh, you should have. If you came in here earlier, if we had ourselves a little bit of an issue with the stream. Somehow I lost connection while streaming, and even though it says five. five. say 53 minutes, it's been basically two hours. <laughs> again, I'll. Again, I'll show you how to set it up, Yoza. I'm reading several Tholian ships on sensors along with some unusual temporal fluctuations. Tholians dislike anything involving time travel. We should be cautious. If they think we're responsible, they may become hostile. Agreed. Anything you like to add, Sila? This is the Pictay system. Oh, Pictay system. One of system. many worlds where the Tal Shiar would send assets important enough to keep, but not threatening enough to kill. Supplies to this world stopped when Hobus was destroyed. But the Enterprise C crew are proven survivors. I admit, the Tholians being here is new. Surely they won't be too difficult for you to handle. You are. They won't be. Shields up, helm, take us in. Do not intrude. The anomaly will be eradicated. Please now. Stabilize quickly. Not a good sign. Yeah, I agree. That's the anomaly will be purged. 
<laughs> oh, no. Another temporal anomaly. It was emitting high levels of tachyon radiation and chronotons before it dispersed. I'll need more data, but I think it was an unstable gateway into transdimensional space. I see. Scan one. I want to see what they were so interested in. Okay, plot of course. We'll scan one then. That anomaly is devastating our hull. Avoid flying into it that, if possible. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, let's try this again. Based on these readings, I believe I've found an origin point for these anomalies. They're coming from the planet below. I suggest sending an away team down to collect data. Right, let's get down and... Wait, shields up, Tholians! I knew I was missing something. First, boost morale gets put in. Concentrated firepower. I somehow got ri got rid of that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bit of a strong word. But there's a lot of temporal disturbances down there. They're making it hard to obtain a clear reading at this distance. Okay, let's go down for a closer look, Sila. Assemble your most able crewmen and... My apologies. This is your ship, you give the orders. Indeed, Daniel, Sila, you're with me. Let's beam down and see what's happening. Take Tarsi and Tomet. We've beamed down into an open courtyard within what's left of the Tal Shiar prison. Doesn't look like it's been inhabited for some time. I'm reading a number of temporal anomalies nearby, but my tricorder's having trouble analyzing the data. We're going to need to get closer. Understood. The shipments of supplies stopped long ago. Anyone alive down here will have a hard time. I suppose that's too bad for Admiral Tanay. Who said anything about Admiral Tanay? That is what this is about, isn't it? There are two of her and no one else. If you find her, I doubt she will be alive. Gonna search for her regardless. This world was abandoned by the Tall Shiar decades ago. I doubt there's anyone left. Oh, the survivors of the Enterprise C might have left personal items behind. This data pad dates back to the late 23rd century. It lacks power, but it should work once it's recharged. See if we can power it up. There could be useful data on it. Other one? This place hasn't been inhabited for a while. Thing is, the tricorder is giving a range of time from three months to 30 years. We're that, dealing with some serious temporal flux here. That could be a problem. Let's keep moving. That's one of the temporal anomalies. I wouldn't recommend entering its area of effect. From what I'm reading here, contact with the anomaly will do considerable damage to anything organic. That being said, I believe we can deal with this. Stand over there, and between the two of us, we should be able to nullify the anomaly. Understood. Okay, let's start disrupting it. And there we go. Someone's been here recently. The tricorder's picking up numerous signs of habitation in the area. By the look of things, someone stripped this area of all useful items and moved on. Organic, of course, scent of the androids. 
Send in the holograms. <laughs> I... That could work too. Okay, we should move on then too. We'll need to find a way past the gates. This gate appears to have been locked from the outside. Perhaps they knew about the anomaly but didn't have the means to handle it. Hmm. Ah, there's a manual override over there near our beam down site. We can use it to open the gates. The controls appear to be behind some gates and more temporal anomalies. When we disrupted this anomaly, it seemed to fracture, forcing more anomalies into our timeline. I think we might be able to use that to our benefit, though. I'll stay here and act as an anchor. Find the best spot and use your tricorder to emit the dispersal pattern again. We should be able to push those bubbles away from the gate controls. If you get stuck, I'll be able to get you out of trouble. Okay, I'll disperse the anomalies and make a path to the gate. The gate controls are trapped within an anomaly. Oh, that. We'll have to disperse it to use them. Okay. Let's see where the entrance is. Okay, there's one. Okay, let's reset the temporal bubbles. Nope. Fuck. Time is a tricky thing. Okay. Moving one anomaly will likely have a cascading Control. effect on others. Sorry, blah, blah, blah. We might need to do this and pop multiple time bubbles. Here. Looks like some of the closed gateways are rusted now. Find another spot. I think I can see a clear path to the controls. There we go. The gate's open. Try to disperse where you are. It should open an escape path for you. There we go. Oh, yeah, I should have asked that. <laughs> yeah, what if some random anomaly suddenly spawns inside me or something? Let's start fleet insurance policy. Uh, you get thirty bar. You get thirty of whatever. I don't know, honestly. <laughs> Excellent. The gates open, and we can continue our search for Tanay. Well done. Before we move on, I've managed to bring the data pad online again. It might contain clues on what happened. Hmm. Looks like it's a personal unit. The primary user is. Lieutenant Tasha Yar of Starfleet. Are you certain? Give me that. The first entry dates to 2389, nearly 40 years after she was executed. Or at least 40 years after she was supposed to have been executed. Let's see the entry then. I am Natasha Yar, security chief for the Federation Starship Enterprise D. Well, at least that's who I was. For the past 40 years, I've been Tal Shiar Prisoner 24601. But even that changed a week ago. Our regular supply drops from the Star Empire stopped three months ago. The guards started caring too much about what might be going on elsewhere in the Quadrant and caring too little about their prisoners. We were able to overpower them. We've managed to recover some data pads like this one, but there isn't enough here for us to call for help or escape. I'm leaving this record in case anyone comes looking for us. Sila, if you find this, I still love you. I've missed you. Lieutenant Yar was supposed to have been executed. My father said it happened. There were witnesses. How can... 
clearly there was some judicious alteration of history. So it would appear. The Enterprise C survivors were here, but something drove them away. Something more than the loss of supplies. We should continue looking for the survivors. Your duplicate of Tanay may yet be alive on this rock. Uh, your father may have lied to you. It would not have been the first time. No doubt he thought she might still have been useful in some way. I can see the pity in your eyes. Keep it. His decision allowed me to become the person I am. I do not regret that. I don't... I honestly, I don't... Okay, if you say so. Look, there's a path ahead. Hmm. This anomaly looks more stable than the others. Oh, Probably spiders. Less deadly. Let's not find out now. Okay, half a buried data pad. There it is. The generators died and no one knows why. Richard thinks it might have been the big predators. Tanae thinks she might be able to salvage some of the parts. I hope she can. She's been glaring over the remains for the last three hours. Two more dead. We can't stay here. The animals know the fence won't harm them anymore. I rigged an early warning system using a trick I learned growing up on Turkana 4, but that won't stop them. We took a vote, and we're moving. We'll build a new settlement in the old secondary supply bunker the Tal Shiar abandoned 20 years ago. The surviving guard has agreed to guide us there. Loyalty to the Tal Shiar fades when you've been stranded with the inmates. Okay, logins. Lieutenant Yar never discussed Turkana 4. When I was older, I discovered why. She was a survivor. It is clear that her arrangement with my father was just that. Obviously, she continued that trait into her existence here. There's more ground to cover. Indeed, let's f keep following the path. There's another unstable anomaly. The anomaly has left some of the rock in a molten state. Let's try it. Let's just. You took it. readings in orbit. Surely we should continue Clearly, these looking. anomalies must be connected to your mission. Now, while you take a leisurely stroll through the jungle, I will be moving on. It appears that there are more survivors than initially believed. On that, we're in agreement. Let's keep searching. Ah, there's a lot of interference, but I think I'm picking up a life sign. Tanay! Go away! Leave this place! Uh oh No, no, please, not again. Stay away. Stay away. Oh. It seems your duplicate, Tanay, is still alive. And she isn't pleased to see you. I don't really blame her. I wasn't exactly thrilled to see you again, either. Okay, yeah, we understand that. I see a structure head. Let's check it out. She's run off. But there's an even larger anomaly close by. It looks like it was a structure at one point. Another but I doubt temporal any anomaly, and this one is larger than the last. Ruin like this. There are temporal eddies moving through the area and a few stable locations between them. Now, if you establish temporal stabilizers in these three locations, we can disperse the anomaly and get a better look at the area. Hopefully, the Enterprise C survivors were able to escape the area before this happened. Understood. Okay, you, you two, stay here. Wolf. 
Okay. There's a stable pocket ahead of you. Set up the first stabilizer there. That's the first stabilizer. Two more to go. Ah! Wait a second. No! Oh, I have a space suit on! Nope. Now it's starting to affect me. Come on. In we go. Dispersing the anomaly restored more than I expected. We should look for clues. Agreed. Yeah, I agree. Okay, certain search for signs of survivors. We found an entire grove of saplings. Richard swears the same area was full of towering trees last week. He might be mistaken. We're both getting older. I, I thought I saw a Romulan in the brush. He was wearing a 22nd century style uniform. When I looked again, he was gone. Maybe I'm going senile. Richard insists I'm too young. Maybe it's because the outside world has been on my mind. Sila has been on my mind. I wonder what happened to her. While her father was a Tal Shiar general, he spared my life in the end. Perhaps he wasn't petty and cruel to her. I hope he wasn't. If you should find this, happy 50th birthday, Sila. I have missed you. I only regret we were separated. Okay, logins. Next one. Shelter ruined. Last try quarter gone. Half our stores destroyed. Five dead. The hunters and gatherers returned to find many dead and unconscious. I used my emergency medic training, but I was a security officer, not a doctor. Devek might not make it. None of them can remember what happened. Without the tricorder, we can't scan the area, or for internal injuries. I suspect that there is something on the planet causing anomalies of some kind. Tanae has not reacted well. She's been talking yeah. to herself and keeping apart from everyone. A problem for later. Survival now. Hawkins, next. There's the last one here. Some sort of temporal inversion happened here. Some of the rock returned to an earlier molten state, while some of the building materials aged over 200 years. Anyone standing close to these objects would have been affected as well, regressed to infancy or aged to the grave. Yeah, same thing could happen to us if we're not careful. Way. Well, I suppose it was nice that Yar thought of me, but that doesn't change the fact that she was going to steal me away like a thief in the night. If she had truly cared, she would have stayed where she was. My father was not cruel or petty, at least not to me. He was hard because he needed to be. I thrived because of it. I see. The Enterprise C survivors were surprisingly resilient. Tasha's notes are more sparse, but seem to record a productive, if primitive, community. They mention a secondary site close by. If your Vulcan survived, there may be others, and they may be close. Okay, we should keep looking. Then. Over here, there's a path with recent footprints. I'm reading another anomaly. Further down the path, Tanae might be there. 
I hate sp I hate the spiders. Such a main anomaly and its allies must be purged. Oh great, Tholians. Okay, need to take out that irradiator. That Tholian away team must have been down to investigate the anomalies. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, it's a case of... It's... I don't have arachnophobia. It's a case of... Case of, I don't like the spiders in the game. They're just... Cr they're very creepy looking. <laughs> Which works perfectly. That's why I say I hate him. This looks to be a well-worn path. Especially when you have a whole bunch swarming you. Some recent footprints here, heading the other way. I mean, I like... might have run into Tholians. Actually, I do like spiders. Okay, seven the tracks. It seems your Vulcan passed this way recently. Perhaps the cavern mentioned Natasha's logs is nearby. We should follow the tracks. Your head towards those rocks. It seems many of the refugees would be alive if it weren't for the anomalies. I wonder how many are left now. Let's scan the area. I'm detecting signs of recent habitation in this location. This was some sort of Maybe dwelling we'll up until a few answers. months ago. If I'm reading this right, there was an explosion of tetrion particles here. A fatal one, judging by the organic residue on the walls. No one's been living here since, according to these tricorder readings. Understood. Let's keep searching. They may have left something behind. The anomalies are temporal in origin. I... I... I, I watched Richard wither and die before my eyes. An anomaly appeared, and moments later, he aged a hundred years. We buried him this morning in the clearing. I, I never expected he and I would end this way. I miss him. Richard was a wonderful partner for these last decades. A good man. We built a wonderful life, despite it all. My only regret is that Sela never got to know how kind and brave Richard was. He'd have been such a wonderful stepfather. Tanae hasn't been seen in days. I'm worried she won't come back. I I'm worried she will. I thought her strange behavior might be a degenerative Vulcan sickness, but it she was answering questions before they were asked, and she's been close to every anomaly that's happened. Maybe I'm jumping in shadows. The part of me that is still a security officer on the Enterprise doesn't think I am, though. Other thing? This is Tanae. I have agreed to report the final words of Natasha Yar and to hold this log for the future. If there is one, if it isn't here already, I... What? No! Focus. Focus. Natasha Yar died of a fever. She... She wished for the story of the crew of the Enterprise C to be remembered. They were brave beyond expectation. She wished for her daughter to know that she was loved and that Natasha lived a long and happy life. But Natasha missed her, and she hoped her daughter's life was wonderful. Natasha requests that if this log is found, that this record be conveyed to Sela of Romulus and to the Federation. Do not come near me. End log. Okay, the log ends. Let's see where this cave leaves. Admiral Tanae may be close by. We need to find her before these anomalies get worse. Agreed, let's proceed through this cave and continue on with the search. I think I see movement in the bushes. Tanae? Stop 
following me! No! Go away! I told you to stay away! Come with me, we'll be able to fix everything! I, I am dangerous! You should not be here! No one can be here! No! Not again! Oh! Not again? What do you mean? No! Not again! There's a new anomaly forming. Folians! Tanae, the anomalies that have been occurring were caused by decades of temporal interference. Because of what happened with the Enterprise-C, you exist in two places at once. We can fix this. You and your counterpart can be reintegrated. Your memories will be integrated as well. But the anomalies will stop. We can help you. You don't have to run anymore. I... I see the logic in your presence here. I am anomalous. My presence here must be sufficiently reconciled to preserve the order of things. I presume you are here to accomplish this. Thus, I will go with you. You can fix this today. You don't have to hide any longer. Admiral, there's something to see. I scanned the area for Tholians in the last attack. I didn't find any, any. I picked up something. Judging by these readings, I believe I found the remains of the Enterprise C crew. Understood. Let's confirm this. There it is, Natasha Yar's grave. All this time, she was here. I believe she was dead. Tasha believed I might come looking for her. She believed it so strongly she left logs in case. Tanae held her logs for her. And now, she is truly dead. I'm sorry for your loss, Sila. This place has led to some interesting revelations, shall we say? I think it best we leave before more Tholians show up. Agreed. Okay, beam us up, Scarlet. So how's so how's chat doing tonight? I hope you're all doing Looks well. Looks like we beamed up just in time. Just, don't, just checking up on you. Ships are on an attack vector. All right, go to red alert. All hands, battle stations. Watch the fighters. Trying to fix Something ourselves. It's happening. It's happening again. Another anomaly is forming. Prepare for battle. It's not over yet.
Ah, the time should pass stack. Admiral will be held by the USS Pastak. It's April today. As to say, the April today from our timeline. Acknowledge, put it on screen. I see you found my displaced temporal counterpart. Well done. Thank you, Admiral. An operations team is standing by on this vessel to assist with her temporal reintegration. Please beam her aboard, and we will begin the process. It is possible that I may acquire a new set of memories as part of the process. A small price to pay to stabilize the timeline. As it has been said, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Or the one. Admiral, I also have Sila aboard. I see. Having read the briefing from Starfleet Command, I find her presence here to be most logical, considering the situation. She's agreed to go into our custody now that the issue's been resolved. Very well. I will take custody of Sila and deliver her to a secure facility once the reintegration procedure is complete. As Beam her it... aboard with my temporal counterpart. As you wish, Admiral. Scarlet out. It seems our journey is at a parting of the ways once more. So it seems. You did agree to place yourself into custody, however. I did, and I will. But I have a condition to my surrender. <sighs> Bring it up with the Admiral. Energize. <laughs> Okay, all decks reported in, Admiral. We're ready to depart the system on your command. Warp out! Okay, an undisclosed location. Tell me about my mother. Thus, we got done with the, done with the yesterday's war arc. The timeline is stabilizing. Anomaly counts are dropping, and our agents are reporting a decline in temporal aftershocks due to recent events. That's a good thing, by the way. The aftershocks of our recent discoveries on Pictay may take some time for Sela to resolve, however. I hope she's able to find a sense of peace and closure from what she's learned today. I'll be heading back to Temporal Command once we've fully integrated the two Tanes. Be seeing you. All right. Take the Covert Ops Compression Pistol. Congratulations. It's time for us to rebuild. Okay. To take stock of our situation and to return to our roots as explorers. We've recently noticed that a star in an unexplored system near Ferenginar has become unstable. There's nothing to indicate any change to its stellar life cycle, so this is a perfect opportunity for us to chart the system, investigate the star, and improve our understanding of what's happening. I want you to head up this investigation. Find out why this star is suddenly dying, and make sure it isn't going to be a threat to any nearby worlds or systems. Alrighty then. Even though I can get a quantum phase beam array, it doesn't really fit with the theme on this build. In, if, if only it was a dual beam bank, I would have replaced it. Okay, we received instructions to pick up a stellar phenomenon, especially as a Kardashian scientist by the name of Tenova Zuval. We're currently at Deep Space Nine, we can beam her directly aboard from the station. Noted. We'll be pick up the specials when we reach Deep Space Nine. Just transwarp there. Just be easier. And approach. Fly by here. Let's beam up the specialist. Thank you for the pickup. I'm Tenora Zuval. Let's get started. 
My preliminary observations show some kind of unknown stellar problem. This unexplored system near Ferenginar is undergoing solar death. Basically, it's as if the star is going out suddenly. Welcome but back, no Yosa. Reason why? We need to get close enough to take some readings and see what we can figure out. I see. Helm, depart from Deep Space Nine. Explored system, which is right here. <laughs> oh, we finally got that Kelvin timeline triple. Take back my ID IC triple, and let's engage quantum slipstream. Zenkath Sector. Ah, the Nakul cool system right there. Let's see how far. Okay, we'll just be on the outer, just just nearby. Okay, unexplored system, and let's begin sunrise. I think we can complete this and then call it for tonight. We arrived in the system about 0.5 AU from the star, sir. Still no indication of what's causing the stellar decay. Detecting only gas giants in the system, no signs of rocky planets other than the occasional moon for those Jovians. We're a little outside optimal range. We could probably get a better resolution on sensors if we nudged a few kilometers closer. Alright, let's move in closer, get some readings on the star, and see if we can figure out figure this out. Okay, scanning. Getting swamped with solar radiation. Try reducing the gain on your sensors. Okay, let's narrow the EM bands. Initial results don't make any sense. The star's core reactions are failing, but it still has so much mass that it should be conducting fusion. It's as if it suddenly decided that it was no longer going to do hydrogen fusion, just heavier fusion processes. Sorry about that, I had to mute for a second. All right, let's collect some stellar particles and see if we can find any clues with a more detailed analysis. This kind of matter is ejected during corona events. We should be able to collect some with your ship's ramscopes if we head to one of the ejection zones. We'll set up, we'll set up a plot of locations where we can take samples in. Ah, this radiation game. There's a mini game. There we go. Results are coming in now. This still isn't making any sense. It's as if the star's life cycle was suddenly accelerated somehow, but it never went through an expansion cycle. There's no good explanation for this yet. Maybe something else in the system caused it. What if this phenomenon has affected other bodies in the system as well? If this is system wide. We should find evidence of similar problems, with nuclear and chemical reactions in the system's gaseous bodies. There's a large amount of gaseous stellar matter further from the star. We should have no trouble checking that hypothesis. Alright. Set a course for the near next closest body in the system, then. Very 
strange. Usually nebulae are massive clouds between star systems. Finding a micronebula in system like this is quite rare. This may be the result of an event such as a cosmic string shearing through a gas giant and turning it back into particulate matter. I'll need some more readings to know for certain. Okay, determine the best places for to scan for the information. All the particulate matter will make your ship sensors unreliable beyond a few kilometers, and shields will be offline. The best we'll be able to do is to check small areas until we get close to something unusual. We should head to where the deionized particle density is highest. Okay, switch to short, short range scanners. Also, everyone, I'll be right back after t take a quick bio break. And I'm back. Sorry about that, folks. Okay, I need to double check the... Okay, it did. Alright, let's continue on here. <laughs> My sh keeps trying to turn on the shields. <laughs> Reading deionized particles, I see fragments, trace amounts of inert materials. Picking up some low-level distortions, probably, f possibly from impulse engines. Another ship may have been here recently. Keep searching. If there's another ship here, we should see if they know anything. Sample the particles. Okay, indicate trace heat and energy surge. Possibly something he headed this way. Oh, Tholians! System body that it seems we have to do. Data is coming in now. Nothing unusual coming in from the nebula, but those Tholian ships were quite far from home. Unfortunately, they can't give us answers. Looks like there's some heavy ionization on the far side of the nebula. As if it's receiving some kind of reflected radiation from one of the gas giants. Okay, set a course for the for that gas giant in particular. There's a large asteroid ring around this gas giant, sir. We're reading a few metallic asteroids and some low-level radiation. Maybe some additional clues, but nothing concrete. There's a lot of small debris moving at high speed here. Nothing we can't clear up with our weapons. We'll just need to be sure not to miss. Alright, Helm, stand by for invasive maneuvers. Set course for the largest radioactive asteroid. This asteroid is mostly silicates with a few small deposits of iron and magnesium. 
Nothing particularly special. On to another one. This asteroid has some coppers, which is zinc, copper, cobalt, plus traces amounts of tungsten and mercury. A bit uncommon, but it doesn't give us any clues. Let's move on to another asteroid. It's not what I was looking for. Let's try to go for the metallic ast asteroid. Large amounts of nickel, some titanium, and uranium, and uranium, lots of silicon. Here's something interesting, sir. The asteroid's been evac excavated. Along one side, it looks like someone used primitive mechanical probe to crack a p crack part of the asteroid or remove some of it. Low-grade warp signature, nothing sophisticated. Someone's been here, but probably not with the kind of technology that could explain the stellar problems. Let's get close to the gas giant and its moons and see if we can find any other clues. Finding an optimal location for scanning the gas giant and its moons. Should be on display now. Okay, right here. For all that. Scan. This is interesting. We're picking up several moons around this gas giant, and some of them are habitable. Admiral, I'm picking up comms traffic. One of these moons is inhabited. Why didn't we pick this up outside the system? So there are thousands of background signals in space, sir. Made from civilizations we haven't encountered yet. This is a preliminary, preliminary long-range scan of this system showed no class M or L planets. It seems that nobody thought of thought that it would be inhabited. Our computers just classified these signals as ambient background until we were right on top of the transmitters. Universal translators updating now. Any signs of starships or bases? Few minor orbital facilities, significant industrial infrastructure, 8 billion inhabitants. Starting picking up a few low power warp trails, nothing the size of a starship. Maybe a handful of probes, there's evidence that we've come across an early warp capable civilization here. Neat! Let us conduct a few more scans. This is a, if this is a warp capable society, when we make first contact, we don't want to p seem hostile. Greetings, unknown vessel. This is Administrator Kumarke. Please provide identification. This is Admiral Sean of the USS Scarlet. I represent the United Federation of Planets. Welcome to Lucari. Visitors here are rare, but we're always gratified by the chance to meet and exchange information with travelers. I regret that you have arrived at a difficult time. You may have noticed that our home star has become unstable. I'm leading a project to try to reignite the star. Unfortunately, we've already suffered severe disruptions, and we have a lot of problems to tackle right now. You've had visitors from all of other species? Yes, we've previously had contact with the Zenkethi and the Ferengi. We've heard a bit about the Deferi and the Breen, but they haven't ever been to our system. Our home world provides for all of our raw material needs, along with a few mining outposts around the asteroids and the gas giant. We've never had a compelling need to engage in space exploration. And now that our sun is going out, we're scrambling everything we've got to see if we can find a solution or a way to evacuate at least a few of our people. On behalf of the United Federation of Planets, I extend greetings and hope for peace and mutual prosperity between our people. I am honored to have the chance to make first contact with your people. My people have had little contact with other species. But that could change if we discover that we have mutual goals and interests. Of course, if our star goes out, this will also be last contact. My ship is part of a larger fleet. We, may, we have advanced technology and we may be able to f assist you. We have a solar probe ready that contains the booster module that needs to be fired into the star. It's capable of warp 2. There's a problem, though. The probe's remote navigation systems don't work. All of the interference from the solar flaring and guttering is blocking the signal. 
Could your ship get a trajectory plot so that we could set a pre-programmed course? All right, we'll look into it. We can use our astrometric computer to build build a plot. Okay, just the trajectory. Should be an elf. Need to move the first point up. Oh, I'm at down. And left. No, right. There. Done adjusting for now. Elevation looks good. Angle is good. We're getting your telemetry now. I'll have my engineers prepare the probe. Let's see if this works. Nothing to worry about, just the future of my planet. Well, hold position for you to launch the probe. The probe's made it out of orbit. Engaging secondary boosters to head out of planetary range. Both engines are hitting a full burn. It's gone to warp. <laughs> Track of telemetry, its guidance systems and sensors are functioning in spite the of the interference. The probe is arriving at the solar corona. Deploying chromodynamic booster. No effect. It didn't work. Repeat. It didn't work. work. That was our one shot. Thank you for trying to help. I'm not sure what to try next. Maybe we can evacuate a few people. I'm not going to give up. But the situation is grim. If your people can offer any other help, we would welcome it. But I just don't see a way to relocate 8 billion people in the next few hours. We're not necessarily out of solutions. We might be able to find a way to reignite the star. Sir, an unknown vessel is in the system. Small, but you can't get a reading through its hull. Skin ray, strange readings. Can't read the interior at all. My name is Cal Dano. Looks like I've arrived at the perfect time. I'm here to help with the problem with this star. I'm a scientist, and I have some specialized knowledge that can help. It's nice to meet you, Cal. Your help will be appreciated. With apologies for the interruption, this is my home star. My people are the ones at risk here. If you have some way to reverse this process, my people should be involved. Agreed, since no other solutions present themselves, themselves, we should at least hear him out. Alright, I'm willing to do so, but it will take me a little while to get a shuttle out there. As you might imagine, things are a little hectic over here right now. Now, don't worry, we don't need a shuttle. You won't be able to get a lock on my ship interior due to the subspace manifolds. I'll go ahead and bring you aboard. Ready for transport. Welcome aboard. I'm Cal Dano. You... you moved me here without crossing the intervening space! You have quantum teleportation technology! Yes. <laughs> we call it a transporter. It has a limited range, but it's useful for going from surface to ship. Impossible! This, this ship's interior is massive, even though it's no bigger than a shuttle! My ship uses compactified subspace folds. It's bigger on the inside. Right now, though, we have bigger issues to handle. This is all quite... overwhelming. This Caldano person is another stranger from somewhere else. And you're here to help with our dying star? Yes, we came to investigate the star, and now we're involved. Oh. Yes, I suppose I can see how a star suddenly dying might attract someone's attention. Normally my people are explorers, and we would open diplomatic relations to engage a first contact. But this isn't a normal situation. It's an odd coincidence. We'd probably never have met if it weren't for the trouble with the star. My people have never really had any desire to go exploring out there. 
We've sent a few probes and met a couple of neighbors, but we're happy at home, and we have what we need, so why risk it? Okay, Yozas. I guess this crisis answers that question. <laughs> the galaxy is bigger than us. And to survive, we need to look past just our own world. The United Federation of Planets makes exploration and peaceful contact with new species one of its primary missions. It sounds like you have a lot of experience in meeting other kinds of people. Maybe if we survive this, we can take the chance and learn more about each other. To talk about what we might have in common and what we have to offer. Sorry about that. Take a sip of drink. I'm sure that my people will want to open relations. Your experience here will make you a natural choice to participate in those discussions. What can I do to help? My home is at risk. I want to do something to be involved in solving this problem. Stay with Cal Dano. This is his ship, so he could probably explain it the best. Welcome to my ship. Don't be alarmed. No, Kawhi is in... This vessel is from the 31st century. Thank you, Yozo. It has some technology you may not recognize yet. I can assure you, though, that I'm here to help. That explains why I haven't been, well, I wasn't able to scan through your ship's hull. Or how you're able to have technology that can repair a dying star. Correct. I'm associated with the Temporal Division of... Uh, well, let's just say that I'm an ally from the future. And I'm here to save the Lucari Star. So this involves changing the time stream. I've had an, about enough of that recently. No, no. I'm trying to prevent changes. Someone's tampered with this star. It's not supposed to die out here. The Lucari don't disappear today. At least not if we have any say in it. I have some technology that can help, but... We'll need to rework it in order to repair the star's fusion processes. What I need you to do is help me align this matrix to match the star's original spectrum. All right, I'll try to I'll try to align the matrix. I'll regulate the device's main power state from this console. All right, it's just the blue spectrum. Decrease the wavelength. Lock it in. Sir, I while I was scan while while scanning I got some data on Caldano's on Caldano. It's a little surprising. He appears to be a hybrid of human and Vulcan with a small amount of DNA from the people of this world. Apparently in some future these people, the Lucari, have a stronger tie with the rest of the galaxy. So he's not protecting the planet, he's protecting his own ancestors from annihilation. This actually means he's probably more reliable. He's probably more reliable. Let's finish preparing the star. Why did I do that? Dang keyboard. Increase the wavelength. And there we go. Sounds like whoever tried to destabilize the Lucari stars decided to come knocking. Let's see who. They're packing a real wallop! Shields just went down. We have incoming! Ready, wep weapons ready, prepare to repel, prepare to repel borders. What are those things? Polians, great. Polians, keep them away. I need to finish these computations. I have the device shielded in a force field, but I can't deploy it until these Polians are out of the way. Shields are back up! They shouldn't be able to get any more boarding parties over. There. We've got a breather. Now I just have to charge the device and prepare it for use. In just a few minutes, it'll propagate a quantum wave shift that should correct the star's stalled fusion process. You should head back to your ship, and I'll send the administrator back home. All right then, thank you. The device is charging. We should be just a few minutes away from repairing the star now. Standing by. You 
surrender. The talks you have or you will be destroyed. Bob, One more time. Returning to normal. Readings are stabilizing. The shockwave should be barely noticeable by the Lucari. Some of those ships have just arrived at our home system. They're attacking our home world. We don't have any way to repel starships like this. Please help us. On our way. Please, you have to stop them. We don't have any warships or space weapons. <laughs> Thanks for the save, but the Tholians managed to steal the Tox Utat while they had my ship whipped. That must have been their plan all along. My data suggests that the Tholians used a Trilithium warhead to destabilize the star. But the amount of resources needed to build such a weapon makes it inefficient, to say the least. No, I suspect that somehow they knew that I'd come here to save this star, and that I would bring the Tox Utat. Fortunately, the Lucari star is safe. However, nobody else will be as long as the Tholians have that device. They could use it to snuff out or destabilize stars anywhere they want. I'll have to get it back from them somehow, but that means we have to figure out their next target. I have some thoughts on that, but I will need to do some calculations. These events and the Tox Utat itself are tied up in the Temporal Cold War. The Tholians may not care, but by using the Tox Utat, they risk distorting the timeline by wiping out civilizations that are supposed to survive into the future, such as the Lucari. I'll be in touch. At least now the Lucari will have a promising future. Understood. Caldano is correct. You have preserved our future. 
My people will be forever grateful. Not to mention my personal gratitude, of course. I think we have a bright future ahead of us, if you'll forgive my play on words. I am eager to see where it leads. My people will contact you once again. My people will contact you again soon. We may we have many matters to discuss. I wish I could ask you about your science, your trade, your society. Oh, I suppose there will be time for all of that now that our crisis has been averted. Won't there? First contact with another species is one of our most essential, or is one of our most important duties. Our initial meeting has shown promise for an exchange of culture and knowledge. I think our friend the administrator here is going to need a ride home. Would you mind? If you'll pick her up and take her home, I'll start looking for more data about the Tholian's plans. We'll rendezvous with you shortly. Transport her aboard. And turn her home. Come on, turn! I have collected an amazing amount of information about what happened to this star. Thank you for bringing me along. Once we're back in Allied space, I'll take a shuttle home. Alright. Transport you back. She's that first contact with Lucari has gotten off to a reasonable start. Now we just have to hope that when the Tholians show up again with the Toxutat, we can stop them from doing anything disastrous. We are ready to leave the system on your orders, sir. Let's go. Elm, why are you aiming us at the gas giant? <laughs> All right. First con- oh. Not saying anything. Thanks a lot. A first contact with us is a significant, uh, significant event for the Federation. We'll be glad to open a dialogue with the Lucari people. Unfortunately, the loss of the Toxotot is troubling. We have some reports about this device when Jean-Luc Picard encountered it on Ryzen 2366. And obviously we can't let the Tholians keep such a piece of future technology that can destabilize stars. But we'll, but we'll have to deal with that later. And I'll take the Quantum Phase Converter. All right. All the Tox Utot has fallen into the hands of the Tholians. Let Our this play out, and then we'll leave. Increased Tholian activity in the Nakul. We'll leave. System. Caldano believes they are trying to interfere with the Nakul in the present because of actions they will take in the future. Caldano has asked you to rendezvous with him in the Nakul system. All right. I'll accept this. And now it's time to head on out. Well, I thank you all for tuning in. If you like what you watch, please hit that heart icon down below. Yeah, um, this is my usual schedule. Mechware Online on Fridays, Baltic Advanced 362 on Monday, or say Baltic Advanced Universe, still need to change that. On Mondays, and any game of my choosing on Tuesdays. All streams start at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is my Twitter account. I post whenever I go live there or anything interesting that happens to pop in my fluffy little mind here. Um, I also have a Discord server. Click on that, it'll bring you right to my Discord server. And if and I also post whenever I go live there and we all get all get to hang out there. Now, we're going to be doing a raid, so stick around. I think I see who we're going to raid. Let me just set it up here. All right. Just let me copy this. And here we go, starting the raid. Could be raiding commanding sins here. All right, I thank you all for tuning in. Please stay safe out there, everyone. Good night. And let's raid.